Hey, a pleasant good evening, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a Montreal Canadiens season preview. If you enjoy the content, subscribe down below. Subscribe with the easy widget up above at the end of the video. Let's get right into it. The Canadians, of course, have one of the more underrated defensemen in all of hockey. Really, they have two of them now. They have Jeff Petrie, and they picked up another one in David Savar. Both play a great defensive game, and both can give you, especially in the sense of Petrie, can give you very good op options on the offensive end in terms of the assist numbers, and obviously he had 12 goals last year as well, where David Savard has had teens point seasons, but is much better than his numbers show last year, and he's going to have a bounce back year and be a hell of a defenseman. They have Ben Sherratt, who's a good veteran as well, that can stand up to anybody. Alexander Romanov is going to be a heck of a defenseman as he continues to develop, and then you have Chris Weidman, who's kind of bouncing around as a journeyman down there, so the final spot on defense is something until Niku or Edmondson come back, you're going to have to try to piece together and figure out there. But they did pick up Adam Brooks. I did a video on that waiver claim. If you want to go back and check that out on my channel, thank you for the support on that, Canadians fans. I really appreciate you. But um, that's a good pickup there. You have a young center that adds to your center core. He's only 25 years old, so that's a nice pickup there. Samuel Matabold, I saw a couple tweets from a Canadian... Um, writers that he was looking good in the preseason, and that's very nice to see to go along with Jake Allen until Carey Price, bless his soul, praying for him. He's in the Players' Assistant Program. Hopefully it works out as well as it did for Ingram and Ryan for him. And I believe it will because it's been working swimmingly since they introduced that, and kudos to the NHL for doing that as well. And kudos for Carey Price for going into the program when he knew he needed it. Um, Mike Hoffman's out for an expected duration of four weeks. Um, the hip flexor, or not the hip flexor, but whatever the hip is with Paul Byron, the veteran, is out for about five months. And then Edmondson's considered week to week, and then indefinite is how Samuel Niku is. So they are going to have to figure out that sixth defensive spot, you Canadian fans are going to have to figure that out. But other than that, Kulak, to me, is an underrated defenseman that's pretty good. So they actually have three underrated defensemen. That Brett Kulak, who just doesn't do anything stupid, knows how to play a good defensive game, keeps the game just freaking simple and does what you have to do. They have Jeff Petrie, who's underrated, plays a very good game. Honestly, at the start of the beginning of last year, looked like he might have been in Norris contention, then slowed off, but still had a hell of a season. Sherrod and Savard, I already talked about Romanov's a hell of a developing defenseman. Plus, you still have Jake Allen, who obviously has been a starter in the past in St. Louis. And obviously only played 29 games last year, so he's going to be more rested. I think he can fill in nicely. I think Monoball is going to be a pretty nice, solid backup goaltender, at least to Lauren for so level. So I think that's a nice tandem you got there to fill in until Carey Price is ready to come back, whatever that is. And then obviously on offense, you have one of the better, smaller players in all of hockey. One of the funnest guys to watch is Brandon Gallagher. And he's going to have another great season this year, I believe. Tyler Toffoli is going to have another very good scoring season. Nick Suzuki, of course, I did a video on re uh, you guys re-signing him too. Brilliant decision by the Canadians. Bravo to, bravo to them. Very good decision there. You got the youngster, Cole Caulfield, who's just going to kill it this year. Only 20 years old. is going to keep getting better and better. Obviously, you hope to still see something more out of Jonathan Drouin. Christian Dvorak was a very nice guy to bring in. Josh Anderson, again, obviously, had a good season last year's looking to build. Well, had a solid season, I should say, last year's looking to build off of that. Christian Dvorak is hoping a change of scenery is going to really help him out. And then you, of course, also have the Cedric Paquette, who had good success in Tampa, who's just a good, solid bottom six defensive forward that knows how to get it done. So this team brought in the guys that know how to get it done and has a good mix of young guys coming up, like Caden Goula, who's not going to be up for a while, but he's going to be a minute-munching two-way defenseman that's playing for Prince Albert right now. You have Ryan Paling, who's a smart two-way center, but seems limited right now. He kind of needs to show a little bit more to show that he can consistently probably stay at the NHL level, but he seems like he could be someone that could just be one of those Blair Betts guys, maybe just stays consistent in a defensive role and doesn't supply much else, but that would still be very nice and very mighty helpful because then he can kind of take the role of Cedric Paquette potentially, who's only there for one year, or somebody like that in the future. You have Matthias Norlander, who's a very quick defenseman. Josh Brook, who should be up soon, who has puck handling and speed, who of course played well with Laval. Oliver Kapanen is ways away. Harris is an all-purpose defender who plays at Nor'easter, who's already 21. And then you, of course, have Alec Tuck's brother, Luke Tuck, who showed a good shot. I honestly want the Flyers to draft him in his NHL season. And, um, 
He just knows how to get involved in the play at Boston University. So you guys have a solid prospect pool. You have good guys up. The thing that's going to hold this team back early is their injuries with Mike Hoffman. You got Paul Byron, who's still a great guy in the locker room, good veteran. Obviously, Shea Weber's out. Joel Emmonson's a bigger piece than people give him credit for a lot of the time, too. And then Samuel Niku is a very solid budding defenseman in his mid-20s, just entering his prime years at 25 as well. So you have a lot of key injuries with this team, and it's going to be hard. But if they're able to stay in it, the hockey news has them projected really low at sixth in the, or at fifth in the, not not really low. It actually has them at fifth in the Atlantic. But I think this is a team that again can surprise people like it did last year because whenever he comes back, you still have one of the pinnacle of goaltenders in the league. You have Carey Price. He's one of the best in the league. He's one of the best to ever do it. So when you have that, you also have Jake Allen, who's a very good backup, who's going to be a very solid, not a very good, but he's usually a very solid like B-plus Tier 3 goaltender that just knows how to get it done when he's starting. And then you have Monoball, who seems like he's going to at least be in that Tier 3, that Lauren Brousseau maybe Tier 4 backup, just pure backup, but ver- the very good backup at that level. So I think this team's going to have success this season. It's just going to depend if they're more of that 500 team that's just or like five games above 500, or if you're a playoff team with how quick some of these guys are able to come back off injuries and how good guys are able to step up for the Hoffmans and Edmondsons of the world. Since they're out on injuries, that's really what it's going to depend on early on. And obviously the big big thing, which is how Jake Allen's going to step up while Carey Price is out as well, is Samuel Montebal. I hope you all enjoyed this Canadian season preview. I think you guys are going to have a successful budding season for your young players like Caulfield and a bunch of other guys. Dvorak, I think, will have a successful season coming in. So overall, it'll be a success in terms of making the playoffs. That's going to be a wait-and-see approach because of the injuries and because of having to see how Monable and Jake work together. I think it'll work out well, but who knows? we got to wait and see on that. Again, subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy widget. Have a great and safe, pleasant week, everybody, and enjoy the NHL season. Have a great season, Canadians fans. Good luck to your team. Peace out, everybody.